In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this using a brush. If this is your first time visiting this channel, this channel is all about building your own house, doing your own projects to save money. My name's Josh, and if you want to, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification if you want to get a notification every time I release a new video, so stay tuned. So the tools you'll need to cut in paint is a brush and something to hold your paint in. In this case, this little Tupperware container. I'm a fan of the Tupperware because you can just seal the paint up in that container and save it for the next room. So the brush I'll be using is a Wooster two and a half inch cut brush. So a cut brush is cut at a slight angle like this. So that way when you're up here against the wall, you can be on a natural arc. All right, so the key to cutting in is you don't want a ton of paint on your brush. So dab in, get some paint on your brush, clean off one edge, Go ahead and get it on the wall, push it up right into the corner, and you'll want to go ever so closely to the ceiling, right like this. The reason why you don't want a lot of paint on your brush, if you look here, when, it's, when there's a lot of paint on it, it kind of rolls over that edge. So if you wipe it off, it gives you a nice clean edge to cut with. So get it on the wall, kind of soothe it out. Push it right up in that corner. Right like that. All right, so you wanna get the paint on the wall. And just run it nice and easy. Right like that. And the truth is, you actually use that crease as a guide. So you want to push your brush kind of tight onto the wall. So that way it gives you plenty of control. So after you do a nice cut in right to the ceiling, then I like to take my brush and just widen that out. Right like that. So that way when you're rolling with your roller, it gives you more of a, more area to roll up to. Right like that. All right, so again, just get a little bit of paint on your brush. You don't want a ton. See, there's just a little bit. Go ahead and get it on the wall, kind of soothe it out there. Then push your brush nice and tight to the wall and just let the brush very tip in, go right into that little crease between the ceiling and the wall. Right like that. Again, get paint on the wall. Push it tight against the wall. Then let it kind of fit right up in that crease. So it's after you get used to it, it's actually more forgiving than you think. And just a little tip, it's okay to get just a little bit right up against the ceiling, but what you don't want to do is stay too far down from that crease because you'll be able to notice that from the ground um, if it isn't tight against that ceiling. So for instance, you're better off to overlap up on the ceiling like a millimeter than you are to be down on the wall a millimeter because you'll be able to see that very easy. Then go through, widen it out. So I'm just gonna record up close to the wall as I go across and keep watching. But get paint on your brush. Just kind of push it tight against the wall. And the thing is, you don't have to make a perfect straight line across there because it's, uh, you'll never notice it from down below. So don't beat yourself up if it isn't perfect. <laughs> because the truth is, if you look at every wall, there's nothing perfect on every wall. I don't care what house it's in, if you look really close. So just push it up in there right like that. 
like I said, don't super saturate your brush. Just get just enough paint on there to do the job. All right, so we're gonna keep going across here. Again, let the tip of your brush fit right into the crease. Just enough paint on there to do the job. You don't want too much and you don't want not enough. After you do a couple cut-ins, you'll get the feel of how much paint to put on your brush. Um, you might hit the ceiling a couple times, but it's better than spending a ton of money to hire a painter. And you can do a little sweat equity on your own house or your own project because Unless you make a ton of money a year, it's usually worth your time and effort to do your own work. And uh, all the money you save in the meantime, doing your own work is well worth it. All right guys, it took me about 20 minutes to cut around the ceilings, if you see here. Turned out pretty good. I actually, uh, showed you how to do it without using tape. Have another video, you can check this card here that shows you how to tape off the ceiling if you're more comfortable doing that. If you don't paint all the time, I'd recommend you just tape the ceiling off or tape anything off that you need to cut around. And uh, I wanna say thanks everybody that chimed in on my Facebook Live. Uh, that was a pretty cool experience. I'm gonna do YouTube uh, live streams more often. I'm probably gonna do it once every two weeks. I might do that Sunday. So this Sunday, if you wanna join me on the YouTube live stream, probably be around six in the evening. So we'll uh, see how that goes. But I'm gonna go through and uh, cut along these ceilings here. And then I'm going to go through and roll everything else next. And like I said, if you're not familiar with this channel, this channel is all about building your own house, doing your own DIY projects. I'll show you things I know. Um, got a good community of people that like to chime in and give their advice too. So if you want to subscribe, hit the bell notification. I usually upload about two or three times a week. And uh, I wanna say thanks to people who's uh, been supporting me along the way. Um, I got the best. 178 subscribers so i know it's uh just getting started but hey it's fun i like doing it so thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next video peace